काम डाउन काम डाउन प्लीज काम डाउन प्लीज काम डाउन तो ये शुरू से ही ऐसे थे शुरू में ऐसे नहीं था ये शुरू में एक दो साल अच्छा था एडवेंचर था एक्साइटमेंट था यूएस स्टॉक मार्केट में इन्वेस्ट करने का अट्रैक्शन भी था कोविड के बाद रिकवरी भी अच्छा दिया था रिटर्न्स अच्छे थे ओ, फिर उसने अपने रंग दिखाने शुरू कर दिए धीरे धीरे सब तिलंडी में चला गया तिलंडी तिलंडी मतलब उड़ गया वैनिश्ड Hey folks, see Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very important video which is about Parak Parik Flexi Cap fund. You might be wondering as to why am I doing a video on this specific mutual fund. There are two major reasons for the same. The very first one is that we had ran a poll to understand how many of you all hold this mutual fund and have a look at the answers. Having a look at this I thought I should be trying to make a video and try and understand about the performance of this mutual fund which is maybe bothering you all a lot. Haven't you seen the performance? Have a look at this. Oh, the underperformance can be very clearly seen. Now with this I'm sure you have many more questions in your mind. The very first one is why are there negative returns? What is the effect of restrictions on foreign investments and what should investors do now? to get answers to all of these questions keep on watching the video till the end now to understand why did this mutual fund give negative returns we have to first understand what is the portfolio allocation of this fund for that have a look at this pie chart you will clearly see that 32.2% of the total portfolio allocation was only to the it sector now out of this 29.4% allocation was there to the it companies but listed in USA something like alphabet amazon microsoft meta now understand how much was the portfolio allocation to meta specifically it was almost 6% to understand whether it is because of this allocation that the mutual fund is giving negative returns or not for that have a look at these charts first you can see that nifty it index was down by almost 32% in first half of the year you can also see that nasdaq 100 is down by almost 35% in a single year and have a look at meta 62.6% downfall in just one year now if you have seen i mean if you have seen all these charts carefully do i really need to tell you that is this the reason for the underperformance answer is obviously yes but has this happened for the very first time for that have a look at this chart you can very clearly see that in 2014 2016 and 2017 see the blue bar graph represents parak parik flexi cap funds and you can see that especially in 16 and 17 it has not only underperformed the other funds in the category but it has also underperformed the benchmark but in 2019 2020 and 2021 where i think majority of them invested in this mutual fund it gave positive returns but then 2022 was the year again where it gave underperformance and not only an underperformance but also negative returns but then the big question in everyone's mind is that was the fund manager just watching and having a look at what is happening with all the entire it sector that's not the case he was definitely active during that time as well have a look at this chart so that you can understand that the it allocation as compared to 2021 versus 2022 you can see that 10% is the downfall in the it allocation versus they have increased the allocation in the finance space by almost 8.2% now just for you to understand why finance might have been a preferred sector uh, sector allocation you have to watch out this video as well where i have explained in detail as to why finance as a sector is becoming kind of favorite of a lot of mutual fund managers you will have to watch that video to understand this entire thing better but i hope the main question as to why negative returns has been answered properly now let's go on to the second question which is about what is the effect of restriction on foreign investments if you have watched this video you already know what i'm talking about but just in case if you have not watched this video let me try and explain to you in just one sentence which says that sebi has banned mutual funds on investing in foreign equity okay now you might be having this question that is this restriction forever the answer is no there will i mean of course the government sebi basically is going to lift this restriction but when no one knows that now with negative returns and also with restrictions of investing in foreign equities 
देर आर दीज इन्वेस्टर्स हु आर कंप्लेनिंग लाइक पहले तो बहुत अच्छा था रिटर्न अच्छे थे एंड अब वो वैसे नहीं रहा एंड ऑल दैट इज नाउ आर आई मीन दीज आर द वेरियस क्वेश्चन दैट आर बॉदरिंग दीज इन्वेस्टर्स सो द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग दैट इज बॉदरिंग दैम इज दैट इज दिस अंडर परफॉर्मेंस वॉट हैज हैपन राइट नाउ इज इट बिकॉज ऑफ द रिस्ट्रिक्शन दैट से बी हैज पुट आई पर्सनली फील आंसर इज पार्शली येस because all these us stocks that i refer to right now something like meta or alphabet or microsoft majority of these tanked by almost 30 to 40% now had mutual funds been allowed to invest fresh money in us equities they would have gotten an opportunity to average these costs at lower levels but because of the restrictions they had no choice but to just wait and watch now the second point which investors feel ke ab wo waise nahi raha hai so for that let's try and understand what was the strategy or the thought process of the fund manager while selecting various stocks have a look at this you can see that the fund manager filters the stocks based on great promoters great management great business which has high return on equity and you can see a lot more important points now if you have a look at the policy documents even today you will see that the basic policy still remains the same okay so all in all i can say that overall fund stock selection strategy has not changed right but then one last point which still can bother your mind is that if this overseas limit is never increased then what if you ask me i think this is a hypothetical question ideally the limit will be increased one day or the other okay but just in case if it does not increase then what we have to try and compare this with some other mutual fund which is again owned by the same fund house parak parik a uh, fund house have they delivered good returns or not and have they outperformed the benchmark or not for that have a look at this chart you can clearly see that in the last one year parak parik tax saver fund has given a return of 12.76% versus the benchmark has given 10.2% and additional benchmark has also given 11.93% so with this chart you can understand that this tax saver fund which is again of parak parik that has not only outperformed the benchmark but it has also outperformed the additional benchmark also even if i talk about their chief investment officer mr rajiv thakkar he has been working as an equity manager for the last 20 years and in one of the interviews he had said that okay even if i have a very big career recently only he has started investing in us equities so his hold over investing in indian stock markets is also very good i hope this answers all of your questions about the restrictions and about the underperformance and on to the final question as to what an investor should do about this fund but before i give you my answer let's wrap up whatever we have discussed till now number 1 was there an underperformance in this mutual fund in the last one year answer is obviously yes number 2 are there still i mean whatever the restrictions that sebi had put are they still in force answer is again yes is there still an uncertainty as to when this ban will be taken off answer is again yes and number 4 as to if i were to discuss about the proven performance of some other mutual fund of the same fund house if you remember parak parak tax saver fund is there a proven performance answer is again yes now with this should you stay invested in the mutual fund or should you quit this mutual fund for that let us understand one or two more points parak parik flexi cap fund is one of the flagship mutual funds of this fund house and the fund managers also have a skin in the game what do i mean by that they have invested their personal money into this mutual fund to the tune of 308.86 crores and even if you have look at this image you can see that the maximum money is invested in this specific mutual fund right even if you have a look at this image this image is of the fact sheet in this you can see that red gola red circle which says that this scheme is suitable for investors who can remain invested for minimum 5 years now if you had invested in this mutual fund with a thought process that i need a money in only one year this will give me fantastic returns i'll withdraw the money and use it for my goal then you will be definitely complaining and then you are left with no choice but to book losses or whatever is the minimal gain and get out of this because if your goal is more to mature in one year which is maybe right now you will have to book losses but had you read this and had you invested for a long term goal say 5 years or more i think there is no need to worry because it is said that uh, 
class is permanent and form is temporary right so this might be something like a temporary jerk that we are seeing in this mutual fund no need to worry about this but if you want to learn in a very systematic manner as to how to choose mutual funds which one suits you you should check out my course of magic of mutual funds which will help you to plan your investments better so all in all to wrap up i feel that you must understand that this has not underperformed to a large number of years still not convinced have a look at this chart then here you can very clearly see that fund has generated a cagr of 15.52% in the last 5 years as compared to flexi cap category average of just 9.05% and 11.08% by s&p bse 500 so i hope by now you are totally convinced and if you are a long term investor no need to worry one more important disclaimer hashtag this is not a sponsored video because many of you said that we are already invested in this mutual fund that is the only reason why i thought that i should make a video on this i hope all the queries about parak parik flexi cap fund have been answered by the end of this video if you like the analysis don't forget to smash the like button don't forget to share this video with your friends and if you want to know more about top 2 stocks on my radar for this year click here and if you want to know more about sebi's ban on foreign investments you can click here till then take care jai hind and bye bye